Is there anyone Harry Reid hasn't insulted? The ads play constantly on TV, vicious from both sides, with Republican Sharon Angle painting Democrat Harry Reid as out of touch. The truth is, Reid is now worth up to $6 million and lives in a $1 million Washington Ritz-Carlton condo. Harry Reid, another multimillionaire just trying to make ends meet. And Reid goes even farther, saying Angle is not only dangerous and extreme, but crazy. Sharon Angle's crazy juice. It'll rev you up for Second Amendment remedies before militia practice. All our crazy juice is made with non-fluoridated water, so you know it's safe from socialism. It is one of the closest and most important races in the country, a race where Republicans and now the Tea Party have taken aim at the most powerful Democrat in the Senate. At a parade over the weekend, both candidates appeared. As Angle walked the route, it was clear how polarized Nevada is. There were times when she was cheered loudly, but also loud choruses of boos and several along the route who refused to shake her hand. She got nothing for Nevada. No, she makes me want to vomit. Others strongly support Angle. I feel she's going to do a big change, and that's what we need. We need to get the Democrats out. That desire for change has never been stronger. It's one reason the Tea Party has invested so much time and money on her campaign. This is a notice that a family just lost their home. Nevada has been devastated by the recession. It leads the nation in unemployment and foreclosure. On this one street with 25 homes, 23 have been foreclosed on. Everybody wants change now. Um, what's, what's going on right now is not working. It's not helping. It's not helping the families. It's not helping the situation. Right or wrong, the blame largely falls on Harry Reid here. It is a blame he so far has refused to shoulder. I'm angry myself. I think what happened to our economy was something that was unnecessary, but I didn't have anything to do with that. While Reid has tried to excuse himself from responsibility on the economy, Angle has continued to hammer it home in her speeches. When I call my children and I say, how are you doing? What I'm really asking is, do you still have your job? Are you able to make the mortgage payment? While Angle has gone from a relative unknown to someone with a legitimate shot at winning, her campaign has not been flawless. There was the bizarre situation when Angle told a group of Hispanic school children they looked Asian. I don't know that all of you are Latino. Some of you look a little more Asian to me. I don't know that. And recently, she has all but stopped talking to the media. This weekend, Angle physically ran from our cameras several times before finally offering a standard campaign line when asked why Nevadans should vote for her. The right angle for U.S. Senate. I'm Sharon Angle. I want your vote. Get out to vote on Tuesday. In these final days before the election, both candidates are getting help from big names. Friday night, John McCain was here with Sharon Angle. Monday, First Lady Michelle Obama will be here on Reid's behalf. If Angle should win, it would be the second consecutive time Republicans were able to knock off the Democratic Senate leader. Of course, Tom Daschle was voted out back in 2004. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Las Vegas.